Hi, I'm Rich Tannis. And I'm Rod Tannis. And we're the RC Twins. Yes, we are. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, make sure to hit that like button right down there. Yeah, and there's a subscribe bar there, you know, so that would be great. Right too. next to that yeah. is the bell. And yep. then if you would share it like crazy. And leave a comment, a nice one. You know, that really helps us make, a, uh, you know, more videos you we might like. It'll get us to a thousand subscribers. And that's our goal. Thank you. Hey, we did a video uh, showing this thing here a little while ago on paint over aluminum, but um, this, this little uh, rivet wheel was right at the end of the video so a lot of people may have not seen it so we thought it'd be a good idea to separate it show a little more close-ups of it and everything because it's such a cool thing so here's that video hey i'm rod tannis from the rc twins and this is our center wing portion of the c47 and i'm going to put some panel lines on it and rivets so i just use this flexible ruler on this part here and uh I'm going to break up these panels here. the whole wing rib. You can see this is just only a little bit faster than putting them in any other way. But the result of it is fantastic. RC Twins. Make yourself one. Okay, two inches in diameter roughly. But what this thing is, is it's a fiberglass tool and it's for pushing fiberglass matting in into a mold. Or, and it, it comes with a slot right in it, really. And I just put a couple more washers so it would run a little bit more true, you know. But um, then I took this tubing that you can find at Hobby Lobby or a lot of other places. K&S makes it. You can find them online. And this is a, a 93 thousandths tube. And I marked this out on the side of the wheel here and put it in my drill press. And I drilled a hole into there and pushed pieces of that tubing and left them a little bit long. Okay, so I pushed them all into there. Uh, use a little drop of super glue if they're loose or whatever, and then they'll stay in there. And then I took my Dremel tool and kind of lightly chamfered the outside edge just to make it pointier right on the face. So that it was able to, you know, embed in with less pressure. Okay, so you push all in. In order to get these all running the same, I took my disc grinder, laid it right on the side, laid this right here, and just spun this like this until they were all the same height. And that worked really nice. You know, there's probably other ways of doing it, but that worked good for me. By having this tool, okay, it really sped things up. Hundreds of hours is what it amounts to. Rivet wheel, get you some. This one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs>